Welcome to the week. The 2010 World Expo in Shanghai came to a close October 31st with grand parades to bid farewell. A record 73 million people came to the expo, and a record 246 countries participated. For a final report, we'll turn to our senior international correspondent on all things Expo, Nathan Place. Welcome, Nathan. Thanks, Renee. Well, the Expo has officially ended in a beautiful ceremony. Really, quite a touching and and moving ceremony. Ah,、oh, excuse me. And、uh, I mean, it was it was sad, really, to see to see the. Ex- <laughs> the expo end. <laughs> so I guess people are going to miss the expo end. <laughs> All the fun they can have. It was beautiful. <laughs> Tell us about the China Pavilion. Won't that remain behind so that people can continue to experience that favorite pavilion? <laughs> Did they like the expo? Expo, expo, please come back, come back, expo. Nathan, you're a professional. Stick to the script. What script? Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> November 11th is Bachelor's Days. That's because there's all those single digits in the date 11-11. It's becoming an annual celebration among young people in China, where men outnumber women. It's a day to either celebrate being free and unattached, or a day to pick on singles who have become couples. Let's look in on a typical bachelor's day. One way a bachelor can become a couple without having to involve an extra person, they can marry themselves. That's what a young Taiwan woman is going to do tomorrow, and she's had plenty of letters of support from other women who don't feel like getting pressured into getting married just because their parents said they should. But since this is only her marrying her, does that mean I only have to bring half a present? Sports at the 2010 Asian Games that will attract all the international attention this month. The games run November 12th through November 27th in Guangzhou, and they are introducing new sports like 2020 cricket and dance sport. But what about the sports that got turned down for the Asian Games? They're a part of this year's 2010 Alley Games. I can see why tomato soccer would get a little messy. For the week, I'm Renee Haynes.